Daz or Unity? Which one should I use for my 2 to 5 minute animated short? Today we're going to chat about Anilip 2. Right now I'm in pre-production and I'm doing a lot of experimenting so I can make the right decisions on how to go about this project. And I'm going to share those experiments with you. Maybe help you make some decisions of your own. First thing we're going to look at is the visual fidelity. And there's no doubt about it, Daz wins in this one. I could make the Unity model look better, um, but not anywhere near as good as the Daz one. And we'll talk about time. The uh, Daz three second animation took about 48 minutes to render, whereas the Unity one took less than a minute. Lastly, we'll talk about ease of use. I use Anilips 2 for Daz and Salsa for Unity. Anilips 2 was on sale for a little over 50 bucks. It's usually, I think, in the $80 range and Salsa is about $40. Both of them out of the box do pretty well. There are some minor adjustments you need to make with both of them to give the faces just a little bit more life. If you want, I will do a video on how to kind of add a little bit of emotion to the faces in both of them. But as far as making things look lifelike, it is a little bit easier to do it in Unity. You have to put a little bit more work into Daz. But overall, when you look at these, I think the lip movement looks a little bit better with Annie Lips 2 for Daz, even though you can fine tune things in Unity for uh, Salsa and make it look a lot better. And once you do that fine tuning, you don't really have to mess with it per animation. As far as ease of use, I would give maybe a slight nod towards Salsa and Unity, but not enough for it to be a deciding factor. But to summarize everything, I'm probably going to go with Daz Studio, even though the, the render times are much longer. Uh, I do sleep and I do go to work, which means that I, I could be rendering things during that time frame. And that's where some of my experimentation is going to be coming in and where I'm going to share you some of those results with you. Because I want to know if I'm going to be at work for six to eight hours, how many frames can I get done in Daz Studio? And the only way I'm going to do that is by experimenting with different things. Um, you know, framing of the shot, getting a little bit less of the hair in is going to make a huge difference uh, per frame uh, because the hair, the hair takes longer than, than the, every other part of what you're trying to render. And if you can get either the hair to be farther in the shot, um, so there's not going to pick up as much detail or frame the fra face so that there's not as much hair in it, you're going to save on render times and i'm going to share some of those experiments with you so make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell um and uh, let me know you know this is my first video doing stuff like this in quite a while uh, if there's anything that you think i missed or whatever let me know in the comments below all right peace